This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, the 9th of August, with the Dow at the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Up 30 points at 35,342. That was a really impressive turnaround yesterday. Look at this. Drops very sharply to that 35,000 key level, that millennium level. And then what does it do? Turns around really sharply. Has it made a higher high than yesterday? 35,346 point, uh, huh? 0.64 and today's 0.5. Huh. We're really close to making that uh, a little bit of an extra high above yesterday. So this is going to be really important. Why? Because I'll do this in my show coming up, the Tiger Nation Sale. Look at the nine-period moving average still so strongly above the 14-period moving average. That's not the case in the S&P. The S&P has finally turned down. You can see for uh, two sessions now we've got a red a line. And that means that the Dow, the S and P, which is down a dollar and a half at forty four ninety seven, has gone into a sell signal upgrade to a sell mode on the daily chart. Uh, the weekly chart still looks fabulous. The um, QQQ, same thing. QQQ has already been in a sell mode for a couple of days now. It's trading down a dollar eighteen at three seventy point eighty two. You're looking at the IWM, which was like the Dow, still positive yesterday. It's just so close to turning negative in the nine period moving average down thirty five uh, point thirty five at one ninety two. But look at this, the RTY, that's the futures, did oh. <laughs> it's come back. Earlier on, it was it was pink, but it, it's gone back. All right, looking at gold now. This is going to be very important because gold is down. It just keeps going down a little bit each day, lower highs and lower lows. It looks to me like that 1950 to 1940 support is going to be really important. It's down three at 1957. The dollar has moved higher. Um, over the last couple of days today, it's actually down 19 ticks at 102.37. It made a peak D. It's kind of stalled here. It's holding very well. Looking at crude oil, and as I say, crude oil has been pushing towards the up angle, back angle. And today, lo and behold, it's up a dollar 18. TLT, that's the bonds, trying to hold the big gains that it's had over the last couple of days. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Hold on. We'll be back. Guys are 42. Sharp.